Here's how I auto generate captions on CapCut. And in this video, I'll show you how I do it as well as my signature caption style. I'll reveal to you my secret source. So let's get started. So once you've edited your video and remove all the gaps, it is time to add captions. Now, if you want to learn how to do a split screen slash two videos on one screen type of edit like this, check out this video here. Anyways, let's go to text, auto captions, generate, and let CapCuts do its magic. And now it's time to fix these captions up a little bit. So first I'll change the font to Montserrat Black, which is my preferred font. I usually go to font size nine and then make it all capitals. And then I'll go add the stroke and 40 thickness and a shadow. And these are my shadow settings. I'll drag this to the level that I want them at. Now the level that I choose usually is either in between the split screen, perfectly like this, like perfectly in between the split screen here. Or if it's a talking headshot, I want it in the center of the video. For example, here, this video did over 200,000 views. And you can see that the captions are quite central. If you're doing NCA. In this was a video I made about NCA, which is the New Zealand curriculum. And this video was a video I made for a boxing coach that did over 500K views. And the captions are central as well. So usually I keep my captions central. So if we go back to CapCut, boom, there we go. In between the split screen. Now, I don't like it so thick, <laughs> you know what I mean? If we make this a bit bigger, what I usually do is I make it thinner like this. And the reason I do this is because when you post on short form platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Shorts, there are icons on here and they can obscure uh, the captions and I don't want that to happen. I want people to be able to read these captions. I think captions improve retention and help people uh, absorb the information. So I make it thinner slightly by just dragging it here. Around there is all good. Now I'll drag it centrally. All right, there we go. And my style is, I don't like it when there are three lines of captions. I think there's just too much. So generally what I'll do is I'll make sure there's only two lines. So if I go under captions, and as you can see, I can decide when I want the next caption line to start. For example, if I wanted to start after make, so if I go to just before flashcard, go delete, enter, and it will start on a new line. And for example, it's supposed to say ChatGPT here because I share how I make flashcards using ChatGPT. I'll edit it, and here I can delete GPT from this caption. And now look how it says ChatGPT on different lines and I don't want that. So I can go to text, go to just before chat, go delete, enter, and there we go. And usually I'll just go through this entire process for the entire clip. And also the other thing I like to do is whenever there is a gap like this, I usually make sure that there are no gaps. So usually I try to make the start of a caption appear just before the audio start. So I can see the waveform here. I aim to make the caption start maybe one or two frames before the sound appears. So that's what I do and I make sure there are no gaps. So I do this for the entire clip. You get the gist. And here, if I can time the caption so it is in alignment with a cut, I think that works well as well. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And there are often a few typos. There are often, yeah, three lines here. So we'll go before quickly, go delete, enter, and make sure the timing is right. It looks all good here. And that's pretty much it. And that's how simple I do it. I think it just looks good. And I try to be consistent with it so people can instantly recognize this is one of my videos. So I think having a consistent theme across your videos is quite important. And that's how I quickly do my captions and order generate them. So it looks like this.
Thanks for watching. My name is Junius. I'm a medical student, but on the side, I'm passionate about educational content and I try to document what I learn on this channel and everything's organized under playlists. For more CapCut editing tutorials, check out this playlist right here. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one.